In this episode of 5 Minute Film School, we're talking about Film Crew. Welcome to 5 Minute Film School, the show that teaches you to be a better filmmaker in 5 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Michael Booth, and today we're talking about who does what when a film is being made. Film crews are typically divided into two categories, separated by a line on a production budget sheet. People above the line represent fixed costs in the budget and usually represent the key creative people. Those below the line represent variable costs and are the technical people who make up the vast majority of the crew. Like most jobs, there's a hierarchy of who reports to who when making a film. So who's at the top of the list? Well, that would be the producer. Typically, the producer owns the film, unless they're working on behalf of a studio. In any event, the producer's salary depends on the success of the film, and for that reason, the producer represents the business aspects of the film. In contrast, the producer will hire a director who represents the creative aspects of the film. It's the director's job to tell the story and oversee everything with respect to his or her vision of how the finished film should look. Rounding out the above-the-line crew are the writer and principal actors, who typically take fixed salaries regardless of how the project changes along the way. The below-the-line or technical crew is divided into departments, each with its own department head. For example, the head of the camera department is known as the director of photography, often abbreviated as DOP or just DP. The director of photography works closely with the director to determine the look of the film and where to place the camera. Then the DP chooses lenses and camera settings and decides where the lights should be. The electrical department is responsible for setting up the lights, making sure that there is sufficient power, and taping power cables to the floor so nobody trips. The head of the electrical department is known as the gaffer, and now you know where the term gaffer tape comes from. When set pieces or props need to be moved, that is the responsibility of the grip department, headed by the key grip. The grips do most of the heavy lifting on set. Both the electrical and grip departments have a second in command, known as the Best Boy Electrical and the Best Boy Grip, respectively. The Assistant Director Department is made up of a number of ADs, such as the First AD, who acts as a bridge between the below-the-line technical staff and the Director. The First AD also runs the set during shooting and is usually the one who calls Quiet on the Set and gives the order to Roll Camera! The Second AD is the one who creates the call sheets to get the cast and crew to the set at the right time. Third ADs and additional ADs are responsible for moving the actors through hair and makeup and getting them to the set, as well as dealing with crowds or location issues such as directing traffic. The production department is led by the producer, or when the producer is off set, it's headed by the line producer who acts as a liaison between the producer and the set. The line producer gets his name from the fact that he's constantly on the line with the producer. The production manager takes control of the budget of the film, and the production coordinator is usually the person with all the answers who handles the entire production staff. Production assistants are usually given various odd jobs, such as answering phones, making deliveries, or fetching coffee for the director. There are many other departments, such as the art department, costume department, hair and makeup, special effects, stunts, and we haven't even talked about post-production roles. We'll cover all of this in future episodes. So that's it for this week. I hope you learned something about the people involved with making a film. If you like this episode, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. I release a new video every single Monday. Please share this video on your favorite social media sites. And if you're on Twitter, you can also follow 5 Minute Film School so you never miss an episode. As always, if you want to learn to make spectacular films, you've come to the right place. 5 Minute Film School. Give us five minutes and we'll make you a pot of coffee. Thank you.